hello and welcome back to another video i hope you are all doing well i am feeling refreshed and rejuvenated to continue on with our home renovation now that we're back from cornwall it's sad that we're not there anymore but i feel like having that break was definitely much needed and now coming back into it i have got so many different ideas ready for um what we're working on next but before i go into that i just thought i'd show you some of the bits that i picked up in cornwall because without going there i um didn't know these brands existed so i just thought i'd give you a show as to what i got now one of the first things i come across was a shop called atlantic blankets now i've never heard of them before but they do have a website online and their blankets are incredible so dreamy i ended up picking up this blanket here which is more of like a beachy style blanket it's in kind of that navy and a neutral colour. I didn't use this on holiday like I thought I would, but it definitely will look nice in and around the house, styled up somewhere, and then I can always take it away and use it as a beach blanket or whatever. But because I did pick up this one from Morrison's, if you'd have seen my Cornwall video, uh, you'll know I picked this up for like five pound. Um, this is definitely the more practical one, whereas this is like a bit more of a nicer one. But this was 28 pound, so really like that. And on their website, um, I see that they do like gift boxes and stuff so if you want to gift somebody a blanket um then they can do sort of boxes where you can add various items to it and just make it into like a proper gift box how many times can i say box in a sentence so yeah that's the first thing and i thought that was really great i think i'm actually going to order a throw for the bed um on that website as well and then moving on to candles now i did pick up three candles in total the first one that uh, well it was actually the last one that i picked up was this cornish memories candle um it's from a small brand i think all you can eco i'm not 100 percent sure if they've got a website or anything like that and um, i'm just trying to have a look on here they may have an Etsy account, I'm not really sure. Um, but this candle oh, it smells so good. So it basically just looks like this. And I'll just have it somewhere around the home. Um, oh, do I want to light it though? Sometimes candles just smell so good. If I can find this online, then I'll definitely light it. But if I can't find it online, I think I might have to save it for special occasions because it's just too nice. Um, I think this was around like £12 or so. So it wasn't too expensive at all. And then another two candles that I picked up together, which I do know have a website, is called Cornwall Soapbox. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of it before. I've never used the brand before. But I picked up two um of their i don't really know what size candle this is 200 gram candles and um, they were on offer i think two for 21 pound i think i could be lying or 24 and um, this one's a st ives bay scented candle which smells really fresh and lovely and then the second one that i picked up was this one i'm not going to try and pronounce the name of it if it'll actually focus teak wood I may have said that wrong but yeah this one smells quite fresh again um love it so so nice i'll obviously style these around the home these i'll definitely use because i know i can reorder them again uh, but you can never have too many candles and then one of the last things that i picked up was i don't actually know if there's a website for this shop but it was the most beautiful home sort of shop in perrinporth um i don't know whether it's so little something with love i can't actually remember what it was called i don't know if that's what it's called or not but um i picked up one or two things from there i ended up getting my mum a gift from there and then i sam's mum a gift as well and then i picked up oh i picked up i'm probably not going to be able to see it just one of these typical bracelets i don't know whether you can see this is not focusing hang on there we go it's actually focusing yeah i picked up this pink um bracelet from that shop and then also an anklet to match and then a little home piece that i picked up was this and it's just a little um 
home decorative item that says love grows here and i don't know where i'll style this yet it'll either be in this room or in the spare bedroom because there's a couple of decor bits that i want to change around in there so this was perfect i think this was like 10 pound um but it was so pretty that i couldn't not get it and then actually an item that is not home related but i thought was really lovely um was a jewelry brand called silver origins um, another one I've not heard of before, I found this in St Ives, really affordable jewellery, um, I think I paid £32 um, for this ring that I picked up, I don't know whether it will focus but it's just this really pretty plain kind of band um, that I wanted to have on my thumb, now I don't know whether you'll be able to see Please do ignore the state of my nails. I took my nice nails off and um, yeah, they're looking a bit worse for wear, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna focus. So yeah, picked that up, which I thought was really lovely. Um, and I think that's about everything. I'm not gonna bore you with any more of the bits that I picked up. But now moving on to home renovation. We are going to be working on the landing, the stairs and the hallway downstairs and also Sam's going to be working outside on the porch area as well. I'm not sure which way round we're going to do it yet um, but I have literally been saving so many different things to my Pinterest board so that it gives me inspiration as to what I want to do. Like in my head I have a million and one ideas but actually when it comes to it I'm like mm, I'm not 100% sure and I am such an decisive person so I kind of need to confirm exactly what I want it to look like so that Sam can crack on but the main thing that we are umming and ahhing about well Sam is 100% wanting a glass kind of staircase um, with I don't know what you call the in-between bit it's not the banister it's where the light spindles are he wants to take all those out and replace it for glass whereas I'm more kind of on the verge of do I want to just replace the wooden spindles for new wooden and then paint over the top um, I've also seen the metal kind of black spindles that I think looks really nice um, so yeah I am a bit undecided I have actually put up a poll on my home account on Instagram which I do try and do every now and then with different things that I'm undecided on and I don't know whether it will focus or not but these are the kind of ideas I'm looking at as you can see the glass is obviously winning um, but I'm just not 100% sure. So these are the things over the next week that I need to make my mind upon. Another thing is paint. Like I had such a headache choosing paint colors for these bedrooms that I dread to think what I'm gonna be like for the sort of landing stairs in the hallway, especially because they're the kind of places that most people would see um, as they come into the house. So I need to make sure that is absolutely spot on. The plan for this weekend is making a massive dent in the garden. I will show you out there at some point over this weekend, but it is a mess. It's gonna be embarrassing to show you, but I don't care. It's just the reality of it. Um, there's just weeds growing absolutely everywhere. There are certain sort of like, um, bushes and stuff that I thought would flower by now and they haven't so yeah um that does need a lot of work so tomorrow I am in the office but Sam is off all day um it's a Saturday tomorrow so I think he's going to st at least start some of that um so that when I get back I can kind of help continue that he is also going to fit the plug um, in the ensuite where the waste goes down into because um, that's all that's left apart from the cabinet mirror so Sam went back to build base where we ended up getting the mirrored cabinet and all of our bathroom stuff from to pick up the replacement glass and they couldn't find it anywhere which is so annoying because where it is is like 40 minutes away from us so it's not like it's around the corner that we can just quickly collect so I think they're trying to source out where that's gone missing to so that hopefully we can get that delivered if Sam can't make it within the next week or so um so that will just have to get left but as soon as the waste has been fitted this weekend I'm hoping that we'll actually be using the ensuite come Sunday 
fingers crossed you'll definitely find out in this video whether we managed to do that or not um, and then tomorrow evening we're actually going to watch Barbie and I am really looking forward to it I've not been to the cinema for years and neither has Sam so I thought I'd drag him along with me he's actually booked it so I can't say that I've booked it and he's got no choice because he actually did that so thanks to Sam for booking that for us both and I know it may sound cringe but I did order last minute a Barbie t-shirt obviously I had to Sam thinks I'm a weirdo for doing it but um I honestly can't wait to see this film I've just got back from the office it's Saturday today and Sam has already hacked at this big kind of tree bush thing that's been here and now he wants to chop a big branch down so Go on then. Stop, stop, stop away. <laughs> Please don't try this at home. You're gonna knock the uh, thing over. Rosie, stay. Rosie, come here, darling. Good girl, wait there. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> well, that was boring. <laughs> just a quick pan of the garden. This is the state. That I was talking about yesterday there's just stuff growing out from the um, fence over there over here like all of the weeds and stuff need pulling out I probably need to sort out those hostas they haven't actually flowered and I'm not sure if they will I don't know um, over here there's just loads of old plant pots that I need to sort out that in fact is a massive weed which is embarrassing I know and then all of this round here the buddleia tree that Sam chopped right back has now just grown absolutely crazy and it actually has a butterfly on two butterflies oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Sam look oh, there's, a there's, two. Oh my God, there's two. Oh, that's so pretty it's a shame the rest of the garden looks in absolute state all around here has got to be de-weeded this is a massive weed here I think um, this has just grown into I don't know what um, so we need to sort all that out that is a massive weed I believe that needs to come out um, obviously we're not doing anything with all of the bigger bits um, yet until we get to the garden and this has just grown out of hand I don't know if you will have seen um, a couple of videos back with me working on the garden but this did not look like that a couple of months ago um, so that has got to be chopped right back and then all of this is disgusting um, all this kind of spiky leaves and stuff they do need to go because I don't want Oscar and Rosie um, getting their toes toes paws on there and then this here are supposed to be hydrangeas but nothing has actually flowered from it from when it did last year so I'm not sure if they're yet to flower or whether they're not going to flower if somebody knows please can you let me know because I don't really know what to do with it it'll be a shame to chop it all back if it will flower but at the same time it's taking up so much room here that I might want to clear it out and then over here we had some lilies um, which are now died off so this all needs sorting around here so yeah it definitely needs a little bit of TLC that's for sure how are you getting on it does look so much better it's allowed the light to come through so I can actually put stuff in my washing line and it actually gets some sun are you gonna help you gonna help tidy the garden? You gonna help, Rosie? Or are you just gonna bring your toys all outside instead? <laughs> Can you guess where I'm going? Yes, I have got the Barbie T-shirt on, and I am obsessed with it. The front detailing is the cutest. This is the reason why I ordered this t-shirt because I just thought it was subtle and cute. Um, and then when it arrived, I didn't realize it got all this on the back, but it's cute nevertheless. Um, we are about to leave in about five minutes time, so I can't be talking for too long, but we worked out in the front garden. So that's looking nice and neat now. I didn't film too much out the front because I don't really want to show too much of the front, um, but tomorrow we're going to be working on the back garden quite a lot. And this evening we are just pretty much going to order a takeaway I think we'll probably pick one up on the way home after the cinema and just have a chill out please do ignore the state of me today it's currently Sunday morning 
just about and I am not going out and doing anything today so I thought no makeup day seeing as all we're doing is working in the garden and also getting the house sorted as well because it's currently upside down I've just stripped the bed ready to change that and we are about to get cracked on in the back garden as well oh just to update you Barbie movie was brilliant absolutely loved it so yeah in the garden we have got quite a lot to crack on with it's really windy outside as well so I'm sure there'll be branches and weeds and stuff just blowing all over the place but it needs to get done so we're gonna cra get cracked on with that Sam's just got to get his head round finishing the ensuite now I know I said we was hoping to get into the ensuite today but I don't think that's going to be the case at all. The actual waste that we've got I don't think is quite right um, but Sam's just going to take a look at it anyway and if we don't get in there today then fingers crossed we'll be in there either tomorrow or Tuesday. So there's no point in me cleaning the main bathroom until we are totally moved out of there. If we're moving in the next couple of days then yeah there's no point in me cleaning it to then have to clean it again. Whoa! Yeah, they stabbed me. <laughs> You're recording, bitches! He was recording the fucking sky. What do you mean? He was like that. Did it fall? What a fucking point of that? Recording, bitch! <laughs> it obviously fell. She's jumping like a fucker! Get shake back. Angry woman. <laughs> Oscar darling. We might not have a dog left soon. <laughs> Get the belly out of the way. Oscar, what's your nose mate? What's your ears? What's your tail? You enjoy watching me do this? Well, it's fucking painful. Why? Because it's not very really neat. It will be. <laughs> what you got, Ray Ray? What you got? Hey? Rosie? You cheeky lady. <laughs> much you're gonna hear because of the wind but we have almost finished the garden we have tidied up all down this side it looks so much better really trimmed back um, this and then round here I think I'm gonna have to just throw these hostas we've got slugs and snails that have got to them so I do know you're meant to keep it a bit higher than what they are but yeah I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that yet and then we've worked on the back area here that weed has actually been, um, I was going to say disinfected, it's had weed killer on it and so have the other ones down there so we've just left that for now but across the back here it's all been kind of trimmed down, all this has been mostly dug up, um, it's not 100% perfect but it will do for now, uh, so yeah we've managed to get all that done there all around here um, and then all that we've got left now is across this side which hopefully at some point this week we'll get that done um, and then this is what the garden looks like this bit of grass here is getting so much better it's slowly growing where we had the um, this table and chair set thing here so 
yeah it's slowly getting there and even with the grass cut it just looks much better the back of the garden just looks so much bigger now it's been cleared of all the kind of weeds and stuff the garden bin is full and then we've also got all these bags around here here and then round in the front garden there's a lot of like the big branches and stuff which we've chopped back from here i've actually got um this throw on the line um but typically the sun isn't out so i can't actually make the most of um this being chopped back yet but i'm sure this week hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine for anybody that's interested in my next video we are probably going to be starting the porch area sam wants to get cracked on and get rid of the step that we've currently got out there we've got like this step that you come up to before you then come into the house it's kind of underneath this kind of half porch i would say it's not got like edges to it or anything so i think we may start that and also i need to potentially go out and pick some more paint samples and add to this collection on the wall here because on the landing stairs and hallway i don't want anything that's too dark um, i want it to look as bright and airy as possible so i need to find some more colors because i don't think any of those i'm going to use out here but i'll take you along with me as we work through this home renovation i think the next couple of weeks will be a bit slow um so content may be a little bit more on the boring side um but nevertheless i hope you enjoyed watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one